Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Master Vower. Why not enjoy this video in 1080p? So real quickly before we hop into our main search and destroy gameplay, I just wanted to share some tweets with you guys. So the MP5 was in fact nerfed. As you can see on screen, the damage range was reduced by 33% and they added some initial recoil to the MP5 as well. And now they're encouraging us to use the other submachine guns, which is cool. I know a lot of people have been hating on Cold War recently, but I think a lot of people forget that we are kind of in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, or we were really in the middle of a worldwide pandemic earlier. So as you can see from one of the lead developers, Tony Flame, there will be weapons, score streak, and more balance changes coming within Season 1, if not sooner. Season 1 is December 10th, so hold in there guys, keep the faith, like, I do think that they're trying hard. And this is just kind of like re-solidify what I said earlier about like the pandemic and everything. Congratulations to all my colleagues at Treyarch on the eve of Black Ops Cold War despite the insane challenges posed to us. So I can't really speak on the rest of the world, but definitely if you live in America at least, um, I'm sure COVID has affected your life in some way, shape or form. And I do think that that's kind of what happened to our developers, guys. Like, it's unfortunate that um you know obviously the game's not 100 percent ready yet but i do think it has a lot of potential and i think that in the coming months we're gonna see this game get a lot better but in the meantime if the skill-based matchmaking is getting to you or you're just super infuriated with super sweaty lobbies i would highly recommend pulling out this bad boy right now currently it's the pro player's weapon of choice the ffar let's get into it guys all right, round one on satellite, you know, vibes. I really like satellite. To me, it doesn't really matter like what the game mode is. It could be domination, hardpoint, or search and destroy. I just really enjoy playing on satellite. I feel like this is a really good map. Battle is won, comrades, but the struggle continues. I can't even imagine how mad trick shotters must be. Like, no final kill cam. Like, and then the best play is me getting a double kill. Like, not even a real double kill. Like, two kills that are moderately close to each other. Always ends up being the best play of the game. It's insane. Neutralize the objectives. Charges acquired. <laughs> Yeah, four. <clears throat> All right, nine and oh, not bad. Pretty sure we're just one kill away from the war machine, and that's the that's the thing we want, man. War machine is so dominant on satellite, it's crazy.
Oh, I got traded, bro. I didn't expect them to be behind that left rock. I thought they ran all the way back to spawn. It is what it is. But I do have the war machine. Good job, DJI. You make Cuba proud. Switching rally points. Eliminate the objective. Spy plane above. Sensors are packed to your objective. Request spy plane above. <clears throat> Mission goal secured. Return to base. Tecom, request immediate dust hey, over. Yo, Max, that really you? Yeah, you dropped your truck, man. Shit. Bye, I'm you too. It is extremely hard to make out what anyone says inside the Cold War servers right now, but I'm pretty sure that guy said, Yo, Moss, is that really you? Uh, I think that the Mina guy is actually a subscriber on the channel, and I just want to say, you know, thank you so much. Uh, it was a good game, bro. Uh, hopping into the FFAR class, guys. So now that I have my shotgun leveled up, the shotgun is, like, always my secondary. So I'm using for the muzzle, the SOCOM Eliminator. This is just basically gonna give you vertical recoil control. Muzzle flash concealment is awesome as well, but the main thing we want out of this thing is vertical recoil control. And then it's recently been revealed in the last couple days that bullet velocity is actually way more important than damage range and all the other shit. So if you do have a choice on barrel, like. Try to go for the highest bullet velocity that you can get, to be honest, because the other stuff really doesn't make a huge difference, especially with assault rifles. Damage range isn't going to help you out that much. For me, personally, I do love the 5 milliwatt laser sight. I know that the flashlight does help out a lot because it just reveals enemy nameplates like all the way across the map, even while you're not zoomed in at all. But for me, like I think I get a lot more use out of a 5 milliwatt laser sight just because the situations that I'm in, being able to spray with a really tight hip fire does happen to help me out a lot. And then for the magazine, I do have the 44 round fast mag unlocked already, but I think I prefer the 34 round fast mag because 34 bullets is more than enough to get the job done, to be honest. And it takes away less aim down sight speed than the 44 does. This one takes away 20% aim down sight speed. The 44 takes away 25%. May not seem like a huge difference, but there definitely is like a little bit of a difference in the ADS speed and you'll notice it in gunfights as well. And then our very last attachment is going to be the Serpent Wrap. This is gonna give you plus 25% ADS speed. That way we can be cracked and just challenged everything. Cause this is like an AR submachine gun hybrid and that's how you gotta treat it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today guys. GG's.